If there is a new assignment on the bulletin board, you can investigate that story. I just received word that the American and French forces have achieved an astounding victory in Virginia. The British Army may be surrendering. Some are saying that this might mean the end of the war. Oh, I pray that they're right. America has seen enough bloodshed in its fight for liberty. Victory! This is the story to end all stories. We need to get to Virginia and get that scoop. We need to find out all the details. Sarah, James, it's up to you. You need to determine the who, what, when, and where behind the British surrender. And of course, as always, be sure to get at least two quotes about why people think it happened. And if at all possible, try to make one of them the British General Cornwallis. General Cornwallis, a British general. Yes, James, it's called thorough reporting. The questions you need to ask are in your notebook. Dig hard for the best possible information. That means accurate and insightful reporting. And stay out of trouble. Good luck, and Godspeed. Yorktown is a small town on the edge of Chesapeake Bay. The British are encamped within the town. And it looks like the Americans and French have the place surrounded. We need to find out what is going on. The American camp. The French soldiers are camped nearby. If what I'm hearing is true, I'm sure that all the misery of Valley Forge has been forgotten. I can't believe it. That though George Washington is so famous, he stays in a tent like his men? He's a great man, and the greatest men are always humble. Your Excellency, it is an honor to meet you again. Ah, yes, Mr. Hiller and my dear Miss Phillips. I haven't seen you since Valley Forge. How is the newspaper business? Very busy, of course, trying to keep the country up to date with the news from the war. Well, there is much to write about here, and I would be happy to answer your questions once I locate something of importance. Perhaps you could let us know what you need. We are fairly good at finding things. If you would like to help, I need a map of the area including Yorktown and the York River. There is still a chance that the British fleet will try to break through, though my prayer is that they have given up and returned to New York. We'll do our best, sir. That looks like an important tent. Maybe it belongs to Lafayette, or another of Washington's generals. Well, perhaps it bears investigating, then. A journal. Looks like quite a nice place. For a tent. A message on a scroll. I'm sure many of these soldiers are ready for a rest from fighting. They've certainly earned it. I only hope that our country respects them for all they've done. These are the outskirts of the American camp. It still might be a good place to sniff out some information. A knapsack! Uh, excuse me, but don't we know you? You sure look familiar. We may have crossed paths several times during this war. I was at Lexington, Trenton, Valley Forge. That's right! You've been very helpful. Would you mind giving us your thoughts on the British surrender at Yorktown? Certainly. I've been keeping notes in my journal for several months now. Problem is, I seem to have misplaced it. If you can find it, it would help refresh my memory as to all the details. We'll definitely keep our eye out for it. We found your journal! Perfect. Now my children and grandchildren will be able to know what we went through to protect their freedom. Now, how can I help you with your story? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? The bravest bunch of soldiers you ever saw. The Continental Army under General Washington and the French under General Rochambeau. We fought against Lord Cornwallis and his troops. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? We surrounded the town. The French fleet kept the British from escaping. We attacked two of the British redoubts. With these taken, we could move our cannon close enough to continue heavy fire. When did the British decide to surrender? Not long ago. 
just after I got off sentry duty. Where did the fighting take place? Near the York River, in Virginia. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? We were too much for them, that's why. The British had the York River behind them, and our American and French troops completely cut them off in front. They had nowhere to retreat. Why are we out here? All the reporting action is back at the camp. Just a moment, dear James. One must be thorough. An axe. Very useful for chopping firewood. Henri, what are you doing out here? Tired of the army food and looking for something else to eat? Always you make jokes about my stomach. But you are wrong again. I am missing my drum. That's right. Henri is now a drummer in the French army. Can you give us any details about the rumored British surrender? Not right now. I need to find my missing drum. All I have found so far is a white flag. The British have more need of it than I do. All right, all right. We'll keep our eyes open for your instrument. Though I'm sure there's more peace and quiet around here with it missing. What a pity that this war has caused so much destruction. I guess that's what happens after you fire cannonballs back and forth for days on end. This is called a redoubt. I know what a redoubt is. A protected fortification outside the main camp. It appears that the Americans overran this one. Excuse me, sir. We're reporters from the Pennsylvania Gazette. Would you mind answering a few questions about the British surrender? I suppose. I fought alongside the British, but I didn't volunteer to come here. That's why we'd like to hear your point of view. You're from an area of Germany known as Hesse Castle, right? Yes. They call us Hessians. My services were sold to King George by the Prince of Hesse Castle, but I received no pay at all. Could you tell us a bit about the British surrender? I could, but what I really need is money. I needed to start a new life once this war is over. What few coins I had saved were stolen. Could you help me? We'd be happy to. And then maybe you could help us out by answering a few questions. It's amazing that the soldiers could make it through these defenses. They were inspired to give their all, so that all of us could be free. Regiments of soldiers respond to different signals beaten on a drum like this one. I am not in the mood for questions. Merci. Thank you. And don't forget to take the white flag I found. I have no use for it. Okay, I'm ready. What questions do you want to ask me? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? The French were there. I know Generals Washington and Rochambeau were involved, but I'm not sure who was leading the British. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? The British took quite a pounding. The French and the Americans surrounded and outnumbered the British. When did the British decide to surrender? I think it was right after lunch. Maybe? Where did the fighting take place? Most of the fighting involved cannons firing at both sides. I guess you would say that most of the fighting was right over my head. Let's not Why do you think the British decided to surrender? It was my skills as a drummer! I struck terror into their hearts! I'm sure all the heavy cannon fire took its toll on the British troops. They couldn't retreat. Being surrounded, they had no place to go. The British Navy failed to help Cornwallis's troops because they were turned back by the French Navy.
Hello again. Waving a white flag is a signal you want to surrender. If you would like to help, I need a map of the area. This is the edge of the British fortifications. I hope they understand that we're just reporters. Hey, you two. Don't I know you? You're reporters, aren't you? Sarah and what's your name? James Hiller. Famous reporter. I guess not that famous yet, James. Soon to be famous, after publishing this story on what could prove to be a disastrous defeat for the British. Too true, mate. Too true. In fact, I've been looking around for a white flag. A white flag? A white flag shows I'm done fighting and want to surrender. Bring me one, and I'll let you into the British camp for some interviews. It's a deal. Thanks much. You're free to go into the camp. First, I suppose you'll be wanting to chat with me a bit, right? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? I'll tell you if I can think straight. I ain't had a square meal in days. Those rebels and our old enemies, the French, against His Majesty's regulars. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? We traded cannon fire back and forth for days. Our ammunition ran low and casualties mounted. The French Navy blockaded the bay. When did the British decide to surrender? When Lord Cornwallis had given up hope. Middle of October. Oh, what an awful day. Where did the fighting take place? Far from the Omen family, that's for certain. I miss them terribly. Between the town of Yorktown and the American and French lines. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? Oh, I know all about that. It was because our navy let us down. We're much better soldiers than those rebels. If we could have gotten some reinforcements and more munitions, we could have driven them out of Virginia. That's the Nelson House. I was told that Lord Cornwallis made it his headquarters. Looks like it took a beating. The British fortified the whole edge of Yorktown, but it couldn't keep out the American cannon fire. This looks like the barracks, you know, where the soldiers sleep. I believe you are correct, but it looks rather like there hasn't been much sleeping going on. If we need... Hmm, not very comfortable if you ask me. They're soldiers. They're used to being uncomfortable. The basement. Looks like a lot of troops were stationed here. I wonder where they all went. They pro... Uh, sir... We're journalists from the Pennsylvania Gazette. Would you mind giving us your name? Certainly. My name is James. My master's name is Armistead, so that's the name I go by. I have special permission by my master to help the American cause however I can. Armistead? Weren't you a spy for Lord Cornwallis? Perhaps you could say that I was. At least, he thought so. What do you mean? I was actually working for General Washington as a spy for him. A double agent! Fantastic! I remember hearing about you, Mr. Armistead. You played a part in Cornwallis's decision to remain here in Yorktown, where he would eventually be trapped. Would you mind if we ask you a few questions? First, I need a secret message I'm expecting from General Washington. I was supposed to pick it up in the American camp, and then I need to get Cornwallis some tea. He still thinks I'm working for him. We'll find your message, and then maybe you can give us the tea to take to Cornwallis. He might let us interview him. We found the message. Thank you. It's some more false information I'm to give to Cornwallis. I put the teapot over there. You can take it to him when you're ready. What questions do you want to ask me? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? Being a so-called double agent, I was free to meet those involved on both sides. His Excellency General Washington led the Americans, General Rochambeau led the French, and General Lord Cornwallis the British. 
What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? I didn't see everything, but I know that the Americans were able to dig trenches very close to the British and bring their cannons along. A teapot. Tea is a popular drink made from plant leaves brewed in hot water. And to brew tea, you need a teapot. A good day to you again. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? I didn't see everything, but I know that the Americans were able to dig trenches very close to the British and bring their cannons along. When did the British decide to surrender? It was a few days ago, if I remember correctly. Mid-October, I believe. Where did the fighting take place? On the coast of Virginia, near the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? Well, I don't know exactly what happened at the end. Cornwallis believed he would receive reinforcements and munitions from New York, but they never arrived. The cellar? I think this is where they kept their food supplies. Looks like they were running a little low. Maybe that's why they weren't fighting so well. This looks like a medical kit for giving someone a smallpox inoculation. You're right. Smallpox is a deadly disease, and people are just beginning to understand that they can be inoculated against it. This old barn looks like a good place to find something interesting. This is quite a find. What I really need is money. We found some coins. My missing savings. I am truly in debt to you. Now, how can I help you with your story? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? I never saw who we were fighting against, but I know who was on our side. I and many other Hessians fought alongside the British. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? It was terrible. Terrible! We were running low on food and cannonballs. The promised help didn't arrive, and the enemy fire was too heavy. They were getting very close to us. When did the British decide to surrender? It wasn't soon enough. We were completely surrounded and had no chance of escape. Where did the fighting take place? Ah, the fighting? More shooting cannons than actual fighting, if you know what I mean. Apart from the cannon fire, most of the hand-to-hand -hand fighting took place when the rebels captured two British redoubts or fortifications in Yorktown, Virginia. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? I'm not sure of our general's reasons. My comrades and I were tired of fighting. Well, it looks like the inside of this place didn't take too much of a beating. No, but I'm sure it was rather shaken up. A map of Yorktown and the surrounding area. Somebody's going to find this very useful. This place is called the Bunker, a protected place underneath the house. It certainly seems that it would be much safer down here. Excuse me, sir, but are you Lord Cornwallis? Of course I am. Who did you think I was, Benedict Arnold? No, sir. My friend was just trying to be polite. It's not something he's had much practice at. Hey! We are reporters from the Pennsylvania Gazette. We wanted to get your perspective on the recent events. Really? Well, I cannot be bothered about that until I take some tea. That dratted cannon fire broke the teapot my servant Armistead had been using. He's off looking for another one. Maybe we can find one. If you bring me some tea, I'll consent to tell you what led to this sorry state of affairs. We found James Armistead. He made you this tea. Oh, well done. That Armistead is really a very good servant. I'll miss having him around. And now for your questions. 
If you will print the truth, I will tell you my opinion of this tragedy. Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? It seemed like everyone was involved. I led the British army against combined French and American forces headed by Rochambeau and Washington. The French Navy was also here. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? It was disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. The noise was terrible. I couldn't even drink a cup of tea in peace. The Americans obtained siege guns that bombarded our encampment. They dug trenches to get closer to us much faster than we expected. Our retreat was cut off by the French fleet, so we had no choice left but to surrender. When did the British decide to surrender? That fateful day will be forever etched in my mind. The morning of October 17th, 1781, right after my artillery commander informed me that we were almost out of ammunition. Where did the fighting take place? We could not seem to mount an attack at all. The fighting took place in Yorktown, Virginia. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? Among other things, the heaviness of the American bombardment surprised us. I knew that our defenses would soon fall. I was forced to surrender because the British Navy did not rescue us. We were trapped, we were out of ammunition, and the enemy was about to break through our fortifications. If you would like to help, I need a map. Thank you. This will be very useful. Now, how can I help you? Who was involved at the Battle of Yorktown? A combined force of American and French soldiers fought against British and Hessian forces. General Rochambeau commanded the French forces on land. I led our Patriot forces with the aid of several experienced lieutenants. General Cornwallis led the British. What happened during the Battle of Yorktown? With thanks to the French for their aid, we finally handed the British the defeat I'd been hoping for. We surrounded the British and closed in on them. Under cover of darkness, we dug trenches to protect our troops and mount the guns. From there, we fired directly into the town at the British troops. When did the British decide to surrender? I will never forget that glorious day. It was the morning of October 17th the morning after the providential storm that wrecked Cornwallis's plan to cross the York River to Gloucester, where there were fewer French troops. Where did the fighting take place? On the south bank of the York River, around the town of Yorktown, Virginia. Why do you think the British decided to surrender? A great many factors led to the surrender. Henry Clinton did not send reinforcements to Cornwallis in time. The British fleet was led by an inept admiral. Several timely storms wrecked the British plans. We had them surrounded, and they were out of munitions. Welcome back. I'm anxious to get all the details. We did it, Moses. The whole of Cornwallis's army surrendered at Yorktown. And I have to admit, I'm convinced that this fight for liberty was worth the sacrifices. With Cornwallis's surrender, I'm sure that the British are losing the stomach to fight. I'm sure that a serious move will be made to sign a peace treaty. And the United States of America will be free and independent. We owe it to our readers to get this news printed as soon as possible. Let's get to work over at the editing desk. Try to pick the best quote. Feedback appears below.
Good work. If you think you have finished editing your story, go to the layout area in front of the printing press to design the front page of your newspaper. That kite is the one that Ben used to test his theory that lightning is a form of electricity. He flew the kite in a storm with a key attached to the end of the string. The kite and key became electrically charged, confirming his theory. Ben attached these bells to the end of a wire connected to a lightning rod on the roof. When lightning strikes the rod, the electric current travels down the wire and makes the bells ring. When Ben invented the Franklin stove, he found a way to get twice as much warmth using only a quarter of the fuel. It's been a great blessing to many people. Ben Franklin invented this musical instrument, the glass harmonica. A series of different sized rotating glass bowls make notes when the player's moistened fingertips are held against them. The famous composer Mozart is said to be writing music for it. Ben invented bifocals. These eyeglasses have two lenses in a single frame, one for seeing close up and one for far away. It saves the wearer from having to switch between two different pairs. This is the layout area, where you can make your newspaper front page look just the way you want before you print it out. Choose a sketch for your front page and type in a headline. Publish the paper once you are finished. Congratulations, James and Sarah, an excellent story. And I have a surprise for you. Guess who has returned from Europe to celebrate the official end of the Revolutionary War with us, now that he's finished helping to get the peace treaty signed with Great Britain? Ben! Ben Franklin! I can't believe it! What a wonderful surprise! We've missed you terribly! I have been away far too long. But reading your excellent accounts has hastened the passage of time. It has been an honor for us to be apprentice reporters here, Ben. Moses has passed on all your wisdom. Apprentice reporters? Moses, haven't you told them the news? I wanted you to tell them. Tell us what, Ben? For your great service in keeping the flame of the revolution burning brightly over these many years, Congress has agreed with me that you deserve a very special recognition of your endeavors. Not only are you now full-fledged reporters, but based on the number of papers your stories have sold, you are to receive a special award for excellence in journalism. I don't know what to say. I do. Yahoo! This award represents our young nation's gratitude for your hard work in maintaining the spirit of freedom through your stories. A spirit that I am convinced will live on as the United States of America shines forth the light of liberty. Congratulations! You've done a great job covering important events of the American Revolution. You may print out any of your newspapers by selecting them. Select Start Over if you want to play again. You'll need to pay close attention, though, because things may be a little different the next time around.